Oh. So this you got is, Denver. Okay. I'm Did you make a typo? Go ahead, is go ahead. Typo? No, this is not a typo. So I'll give my reasoning. Oh, Denver at four, as Denver we four. talked about with the top 20 quarterbacks, I think that Russ is not as good as people think he is. And, I, I mean, like, this team wasn't good last year. Now they have Russ in essentially the same roster, minus no offense. They got Randy Gregory as well on defense. That's really it. It's basically the exact same team other than Russ. And I just don't think that they're better than the other three teams in this division. Like, the Chiefs, regardless of losing Tyree Kill, are still, like, they still have the respect of being not the worst team in the division. And then the Chargers, I think, are going to take the next step, as I forget who said it. I think they could be a 12 win team this year, too. Um, they got better on defense, Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson. So, I mean, that's also pretty much impossible. Um, not to mention Joey Bosa. They have Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack on opposite sides. Like, that is honestly crazy. And then they have number one corner in, in secondary. Like, but the Raiders are one. Devontae Adams and um, Chandler Jones coming to Las Vegas, I think, are huge moves. And Devontae Adams is the best seed in the NFL. And he's best friends with Derek Carr. They have the most chemistry you could have. And I just think this division could be down to week 18, who's going to win. And I think if it came down to it, I'd take it. The only critique I would have, I would switch one and two. Yeah. Uh, just because I think Justin Herbert is like, I would say he's already broken out, but this is going to be the year where he's really going to be. Yeah, I agree with Ryan stage. stage. Uh, Chiefs will be interesting to see without with all the people that they lost. You know, you could say that they made some key additions, but I think they lost more than they gained. But um, I'm just going to talk about this. Aside, so you guys <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why the Chiefs are at three. I'm not gonna lie. Chiefs, you think they'd be lower or higher? Guy, I think they should be higher. So who are you I'm putting just, ahead? Yeah. Or who are you putting? It's, just, it's, it's tough. That's what I'm, I know. It's tough. Hey, Raiders I know. Personally, yeah, I would take the Raiders though. Yeah. I think the Chargers are better than the Raiders just because, like Jake said, they've only lost because of their defense. And as you can see, the notable additions that they added are just key defensive players. J.C. Jackson is going to lock up the outside. Lewis back rushing off the edge. That's just overpowered. Is Justin Herbert? Going to be able to beat the Raiders? Yes. Yes. In, We've like, already seen in a must-win game. Yes. yes. He's totally. I don't think he will. He I will. think the Raiders win that game. I'm not saying that he's worse than Derek Carr, but I think as a team, I think the Raiders are a better team. Well, I mean, last year Justin Herbert was competing with Mahomes, and this is like considered his breakout year, I guess you could say. So even that, in general. I mean, the Raiders did better than Chargers last year, so. I guess. It, it I guess you could say that. But I don't know, bro. The Chargers and got better as a Monte team. Adams. But considering next year, the Chargers are the better team with the defense additions that they added. Not to disrespect Khalil Mack, but like Khalil Mack's basically been invisible in most of our minds since he's not he's been on the Raiders. Yeah, no, he has. He when has. he was on the Raiders and they were good and they made the playoffs, I, it was like you could only he was doing great and he was in the news. Year, but his first year in Chicago, he was great, but then yeah. the offense really struggled. That's far enough. I but I think I think it's so it's true. when you when you're not playing for anything yeah. and you know you're not playing for anything. Paper draft picks it. Yeah, if you are an elite defensive player, which I think he still is. The effort, just like human nature, your effort's just not going to be what it is if you're playing for, fighting for a playoff spot. You're, I mean, they're fighting for damn first round picks. Joey Bosa's not going to take any stops. Yeah, ex- no. exactly. So, for that. He's a little mad. So he's going to get triple team, double team, but they're going to see that shit it. his way. I get it. And like I said, they got Joey Bosa on the other side. So he's not going to be able to get double team as much. Exactly. But regardless, when it comes down to it, Devontae Adams versus Mike Williams slash Keenan Allen. Like, I'm taking Devontae yeah, Adams. Just, if they have a two-minute drill and it's the Chargers defense versus Devontae Adams and Derek Carr, I'm taking the Yes, yeah, quarterback, you're taking Herbert and Derek Carr. And then you have to I'm taking Herbert over, taking Herbert over Derek Carr, but that's not the question. I want to hear Sean talk. Yeah. He just said what you Derek Carr was the Yeah. <laughs> so you should be jumping for joy when you see this. I, I think the top three could go interchangeable for one, but I agree that... So we all agree that the Broncos are just going to be. Is, no. is that? Yeah, I, the and Broncos it is are physically possible. Now. It is physically possible that all these teams make playoffs, I, which it could. Not. I think Denver. Is I am a believer in Denver. Why? So what made you a Russ guy out of nowhere? Because you weren't before. Why are you riding the Broncos? <laughs> Why are you riding the Broncos? <laughs> I'm not. Broncos I'm not. I think Pat Sertan can <laughs> have a Trayvon Diggs type jump. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's hope he can uh, cover as well, not just get fixed. So. Yeah. He can. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. Well, listen. Patrick Sertan is better than Trayvon Diggs. We've been here the past few years that Pete Carroll and fucking Pete Carroll ran an offense from 19 to 20. Yeah. And Russ was pissed. 
Now he has but last year, time. last year they changed that, and he had more freedom to do whatever he wanted last year. And look how it turned out. On my, listen, on my, it's team, also because the defense. On my quarterback list, I had Teddy Bridgewater like 26, and I had Drew Locke dead last. And Denver won eight games with those teams. I think Russ can get to 11. That's just fine. The Chiefs are in a The Chiefs are. The Chiefs are. Last Dude, that's the thing, thing about this division. Yeah, it's exactly. like the whole division's gonna change. It's just yeah. everything is. This division could literally come down to week 18, like the whole slot. Yeah, so, well, what I'll say, sure, yeah. yeah. what I'll say is that you had the Packers number one, and they lost number one weapons. You had the Chiefs number two. The strength of the division is way different. The, the division is, but I stand I by think this. You're top dog until you're knocked off. The worst division. You're top dog until you're knocked off. Until mm. I see the Raiders. Go in there into Arrowhead and beat the Chiefs. I don't think they can do it right now. Well, they didn't have Devontae Young. Now they do. So. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they say that as if like that's that big of a jump. Like that is. I personally number. believe that it is because I mean, Devontae Adams. He's, he's the he's best receiver guy. in football. You could, like, Nobody could cover. Like, shit like this happens. Like people, good players go to different teams and they're still bad. Like, shit just happens. He hop into the Cardinals like the Cardinals are still good as fuck. That's Murray. more on Kyler though. Okay, but at the time, and it's I on D Hop for cheating the game and using steroids. Or whatever. It's all coming out now. now. <laughs> but at, okay, like at the time of the trade, I guarantee you people are like, oh fuck, like, this Cardinals team is about to be the fucking bomb. Yeah. Every Hopkins. Like, They've gotten a lot better since D Hop. Hey, what are we talking about? Just, I'm just saying right, how yeah. like, he's saying Devontae Adams trade is trade. Yeah. Just, just one quick thing. thing. I know we've been talking about this, uh, about these four teams for a while. The one thing that can. That concerns me about the Chargers, and you think I'm going to be joking around this, right? It's tough to play 17. Yeah, that's true. They don't have fans. Yeah. Every home game, there are more fans yeah. for the opposing team. Mm-hmm. And by week 14, 15, 16, they're going to be exhausted. They're going to need the crowd to give them some enthusiasm and some motivation. And they're going to look up at a home game against the Raiders at the end of the year. And they're just going to see silver and black. Everywhere. Well, like, I mean, the Raiders the fans are all going. But they're Vegas. So, I mean, honestly, as a No, but they used to be Raiders. L.A. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I'm saying people, there are more Raiders fans in international than fan, Rams and Chargers fans exactly. As an yeah, people, international fan, if you look at games, you're going to go, okay, I'm going to hit up L.A. That is part of that. Oh, sorry, I'm going to hit up Nevada, and I'm going to go to a game in Las Vegas. And my, my dad's done it himself. Yes. It's what a lot of people do. And you go as a, as a sort of, like, you see it in the NFL games in the U.K., fans go wearing all sorts of different color, color jerseys just to go to the game. The Raiders, yeah, they have more of a fan base than the Chargers, but it's, it's no arrowhead. No, no, no Raider Nation is a real thing. It, like, is a real it thing. might not be in Oakland anymore, but like they have better fans. The Chargers, like especially like people who are borderline Chargers, decided to be Chargers, decided to be Rams fans last year. The Rams won a Super Bowl, so all those people are now Rams fans. Like the Chargers have by far the least amount of fans. Not even close. When they played the Steelers, it was like crazy how many terrible towels were in there. It was like very little Chargers fans. 